Hey, what's going on there, folks? Welcome back here to another update on this uh, Wednesday, January 31st, 2024, the last day of the month already, about 11.35 a.m. here, California time. The latest activity, can you guess? Take a look at Hawaii. Goodness, we got a good-sized swarm of earthquake activity kicking off out there, and it has been over the last couple days. We are getting awfully close here, folks, in terms of the... Uh, eruption activity happening soon so they did upgrade the hawaii volcano kilauea volcano from a yellow uh, its previous status to an orange and watch level indicating uh, that this thing is about ready to uh, erupt once again we have been watching this over the last oh a couple months since september right we've seen a lot of inflation going on here and more so in the last couple days earthquake activity that is the key to watching an eruption around any volcano and we are getting it no doubt uh, the latest informational statement here let's show you guys here real quick uh, Kilauea volcano is not erupting increased earthquake activity and inflation ground deformation at Kilauea summit began occurring during the early morning hours of today but technically if you've been following this channel my videos We've been seeing uh, inflation activity since last September, and each step has been higher than the step before in terms of the inflation. And earthquake activity has really kicked up here about two days ago. So, uh, you know, they're stating today, but we've been noticing it. We've been uh, watching this elevated earthquake activity uh, since about the, uh, oh, the 29th or so of this month. Uh, and of course, all that indicates magma, right? Right below the subsurface. Uh, the USGS HVO folks there raising the volcano alert level. Uh, aviation color code from Kilauea from yellow to orange due to this activity. Uh, at this time, it is not possible to say with certainty if this activity will lead to an eruption, but it's got to. We're looking at elevated ground deformation south of the caldera region right here. Um, any new eruptive activity could occur in or near the crater or the region south of Kilauea called caldera. Now, if you've been watching videos here, I've been kind of pointing out the area just south of the summit region uh, for the eruptive fissure activity. Right now, it is not erupting. Let me show you guys the uh, current image here from the uh, Kilauea volcano. It may, have, it may have popped here even in the last few seconds. I don't know. Let's give a quick glance. Uh, the best site to use for that is going to be... Um, doo -doo -doo -doo, where are we here? Webcams check this out here real quick quick here's a summit region uh, of course the lava lake area at the summit indicating uh, some volcanic gases this has been ongoing and it's consistent here uh, even when the volcano is not erupting so I don't see any unusual activity here across the summit region in terms of increased activity as far as the uh, volcanic gases it does look cloudy a little cooler up there uh, these volcanic gases in the heated surface below, heated areas below the surface, uh, creating that condensation. So that looks good. Uh, as far as the summit region, the east rift zone here, uh, let's see what we got. Hopefully the USGS is going to let me view their stuff. Uh, there's today's image. Don't see any unusual activity out there. Again, cloudy, kind of foggy. Um, this over here is... Uh, Hard to say, but that almost looks like some activity stirring up here. I don't know which way this is facing directly. Um, it's a panoramic view, but I do see some type of gases going on there across that area. Lower east rift zone. Uh, this image was put out uh, today. I only got one one webcam. So, yeah, that's kind of interesting there that uh, the southeastern area showing something right here it's hard to say though that doesn't look like it's in the caldera area does it so we'll have to watch that um definitely uh should be uh happening here soon let's go back over here and uh double check the inflation chart let me see what's going on here Pretty busy day out here in my neck of the woods in California. Got a good sized storm coming in. Got a bunch of stuff due for class today I'm trying to get ahead of. And it's just non-stop it seems like. Um, inflation. 
looks like that one may be offline. Let me double check that and see what we have. There we go. Well, look at that. That is very odd. So we do definitely have some magma moving around. That's an obvious sign here from going up and down that things are uh, very close here to erupting. Like I say, I'm, I'm not 100% certain if that's uh, happening right now. This is an older image, I believe, from uh, December. But I think this thing has gone already, potentially. I see some heated areas outside of the caldera region over here. See on the sides? That's a little odd. I don't, I don't recall that uh, being like that before. So that's, uh, yeah, getting very interesting. So let's bring back up this earthquake map here and take a look at where the most of the activity is concentrated. Uh, and I, I'll say it again. I think this is going to open up just outside the region here. Got some older vents, 1974 vents up here. Uh, south of the caldera most of our eruptions here across the kilauea volcano have been confined to the crater area the lava lake area the summit region up here but i'm leaning more towards this area down here south uh, and we have seen eruptive fissure activity here historically uh, so we'll keep an eye on that uh, i don't think it's going to migrate further out um, across the area i think we're going to see it right here to south of the summit caldera region Just give a quick glance here at any uh, other updates. There's the most recent one. Uh, same thing as before, but uh, uh, locatable earthquakes have occurred per hour at depths of 1.5 to 3 kilometers. That's 1 to 2 miles below the surface. Uh, earthquake clusters have migrated between the area just south of the crater area and the region southwest of the outer the outer caldera boundary so maybe that's what we're seeing right there with that new um, activity stirring up that uh, volcanic gas seeping out through the side um, <clears throat> so we'll continue to watch that um, and see what happens i guess i mean we really have no other way of knowing let me see here summit cams once again see look at this over here so this is uh looking east right got the sun over there this camera's uh over here on the west side of the caldera looking east So technically, this would be over here across the southeast rift zone. Uh, and you guys can see that, right? That volcanic gas is seeping up right there. That's pretty crazy looking. So we'll definitely watch this and uh, report back on any changes that take place. Uh, they do have a webcam there on YouTube. Um, I think they do. Here's a link to one of the other... Uh, images same image but a little bit more higher resolution yeah watch this area out here goodness all right uh, let's get back to earthquake activity uh, and really the only activity that's happening out here across the pacific right now is in the middle of it uh, and that's all the activity there in hawaii uh, we got about um, 212 earthquakes that's a decent jump i'm kind of curious to see what the uh the seismos look like go back here real quick and see just a whole lot happening here folks on this end and we've got this volcano probably going to erupt here today uh, outside of the normal zone at least i feel it's going to happen outside of the uh, caldera region seismograph stations there it looks like there was a little period of quietness last night uh, and i know in my previous updates we've been seeing not quite this active, but we did see uh, quite a bit of earthquake activity here uh, in the last couple days. But this is a ginormous increase in earthquake activity uh, in a short amount of time period here. So that's, uh, that's a key indicator here that we should see this thing pop here probably by the time, uh, potentially by the time this video is uploaded to YouTube, uh, if not sooner. All right, uh, let's go ahead and check out world activity real quick. Late latest activity shows a 4.5 in China. 
This is the area that's been seeing a little bit of swarming out there following that larger scale movement a few days ago. Uh, but uh, a little bit of aftershock activity occurring there now. Uh, across the area of Tonga and the Fiji Islands area, not a whole lot. Did have a 5.8 though, about uh, 3 o'clock in the morning, my time. 185 kilometers deep here into the uh, subduction zone, the Tonga Trench area. Aside from that, uh, clustering going on here across the Indonesia Islands area as typical, but it seems as though Hawaii getting a big time squeeze out here when things go quiet. Look at that. It's awfully quiet across the west, uh, even the northern regions as well. Um, California, a handful of smaller quakes out there. Let's see what we have. Across the area, mostly along the San Jacinto Fault Zone. Nothing major going on out there across the San Andreas for now. One earthquake this morning. Uh, outside of the Loma Linda area, looks like that's on the Crafton Hills Fault, or very close to it. Uh, but the southern branch of the San Andreas Fault remains quiet for now. Uh, we'll continue to watch this, folks, and see how it plays out uh, in terms of the earthquake activity there associated with the Kilauea Volcano. Puerto Rico area has calmed down drastically compared to yesterday. We have been watching a, a decent swarm of earthquake activity out there. But I'm going to get this video uploaded here to the channel. We'll be back, I'm sure, within the next hour or so once that volcano decides to uh, um, erupt out here across Kilauea. little quake up around Mauna Loa as well, three kilometers deep. Uh, we'll catch you guys back here in a little bit, folks. Have a good one.